Hello. In this video, we're going to continue our study of compound probability. And again, we're not going to cover dependent events. Uh, we're just covering independent events, which means one event has nothing to do with the outcome of another event, such as flipping coins or rolling dice, things of that nature. And to review, the probability of both items, both events happening, to find the probability, we multiply the separate probabilities. So let's return to our example of flipping a coin. Well, in this case, let's flip a coin four times. Now here it says the probability of both happening. We're actually going to consider the probability of four events happening. What would be the probability of getting four heads in a row? The probability of getting four heads. So. We've said before we're going to multiply the separate probabilities. What is the probability of getting one head? That's one half. Probability of getting another head? That's a half. And a third head? That's a half. And a fourth head? That's a half. And the probability, of, therefore, of getting four heads when you flip a coin four times, assuming it's a fair coin, well, in the denominator, First off, the numerator is 1. The denominator, 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. So there is a 1 16th chance of getting 4 heads. And you could extend this. The probability of getting, say, 6 heads. Well, that's simply 1 half times 1 half times 1 half 6 times. In this case, it would be 1 half to the 6th power. And that would be 16 times 2 is 32. That would be a 1 over 64th probability. Very, very rare. But, you know, it can happen. Now we're going to deal with another thing that's very common across the United States, and that is the daily lottery, the daily number. In this case, we're going to deal with something called the pick three. The pick three lottery. Pick three lottery. And the idea of the pick three lottery is you pick essentially three digits, so it could be anything from 000 uh, to 999. Pick any any three digit number, and then there's a drawing, and they have ping pong balls, and they basically draw the separate numbers. And if you win, you probably get around $500 if you spend a dollar on a ticket. So you buy a one dollar ticket you could win five hundred dollars all right so let's see how what, what the probabilities are and we're going to do this two separate ways we're going to actually figure out the compound probability the compound probability of three separate events we're also going to do simple probability that's supposed to say simple. Simple probability which is one event. We're going to do the math both ways. So the way that lottery is done is there is a container of ping pong balls and it's got the digits one through, one, I'm sorry, zero through nine in it. So you have all these numbers uh, spinning around 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and that's in one container, and then there's another container that has the digits as well. So the probability that your first digit will match their first digit, you have a 1 in 10 chance. In other words, you have one successful chance, let's say you picked 6, and then uh, there's a chance of 1 in 10 that the first digit will be a 6. And what about the second digit? Well, again, your digit, you may have picked a 3, and you've got a 1, in, a one chance that they're going to pick a 3 out of 10 possibilities. And then for the third digit, likewise, it's going to be a 1 in 10 possibility. So what is the probability of you picking your three-digit number perfectly? Well, it's 1 tenth times 1 tenth times 1 tenth, or 1 over 1,000. That's the probability. And that's when we consider uh, compound probability. But let's do simple probability. 
where there's just one event. So the event is picking a three digit number. Picking a three digit number. In other words, what is the probability that you'll pick a three digit number that perfectly matches the daily number? Well, the definition of probability is successful events over total events or total outcomes. Successful outcomes over total outcomes. And how many three-digit numbers are there? Well, it may look like there's 999, but we're including 000. So there's actually a total of a thousand three-digit numbers. And you're picking one three-digit number. In other words, you are picking one and there's a thousand possibility, so you have a one out of a thousand chance of picking the three-digit number. And please notice that these probabilities are the same. Okay, let's try one last example. Let's say there's a store that's having a Valentine's Day promotion for couples. They have two decks of cards, and they have the couple pick a card out of each deck. And if each person picks a heart, then they win. So heart plus heart equals win. And the question is, what's the probability that we have a winning situation? What is the probability that we will draw a heart from each deck? Well, as discussed in a previous video, there are 13 hearts out of 52 cards, or one-fourth. In other words, one-fourth of the cards in a deck are hearts, and in the other deck, one-fourth of the cards are hearts. So, what's the probability of drawing a heart from each? We have one-fourth times one-fourth, or a one-sixteenth probability that there'll be a winner. In future videos, we're going to talk about odds.